An attorney for Donald Trump says the former president will not accept an invitation to testify before a New York City grand jury. It's investigating alleged hush money payments made to two women during the 2016 presidential campaign. The man who arranged those payments, former Trump attorney Michael Cohen, testified before the same grand jury for about three hours yesterday. Prosecutors could soon file criminal charges against Trump over the payments to the women whom he allegedly had affairs with. I don't want to see anyone, including Donald Trump, indicted, prosecuted, convicted, incarcerated, simply because I fundamentally disagree with them. This is all about accountability. Cohen served prison time after pleading guilty in 2018 to federal charges, including campaign finance violations in connection with the payments. Trump has denied the affairs. CBS News reporter Graham Cates has been following the story. He's here with us in Studio 57 to discuss. Graham, good to see you again. What can you tell us about Michael Cohen's testimony to the grand jury yesterday? Well, he was there for three hours yesterday, and he's coming back again on Wednesday. So this is pretty significant questioning. Uh, and we know, we know kind of the general topic that, that he was there to talk about, which was this uh, 2016 hush money, alleged hush money payment to the adult film star Stormy Daniels. It was made in the final days before the 2016 presidential election. Um, and in his book, he wrote about the, the reason why they did it, which was they were afraid that if she said that she had an affair with Donald Trump, which is something that he denies, that it would have affected his chance to win the presidency. And so that's, that's what they're investigating right now. So just to be more specific, does it matter where the money came from or just that he didn't want her to talk? No, that's, that's actually really important. Cohen, one of the reasons Cohen went to prison, and, and he's been open about this, is that he says he was the one who fronted the money. It was $130,000. Mm -hmm. Of his money. Of his own money. Mm -hmm. And um, what, what they're looking at is whether or not, so we already know from his conviction that it va violated federal campaign finance law. Mm -hmm. And part of this is, is um, to look at uh, how that applies to New York campaign finance law. Mm. There's kind of a complex legal thing at play where they're considering uh, two, two what would be minor violations. There's uh, this kind of money laundering that has to do with, with covering up the payment. Mm. And then in combination with uh, this New York campaign finance law uh, violation, the theory is that that would make this a, a felony that you would, you would pursue Donald Trump for. Interesting. Okay, so speaking of Donald Trump, uh, he was invited to speak in front of the grand jury. Uh, no surprise, he turned down that invitation. Correct. Yeah, it's really rare for someone to, who is invited to speak before a grand jury as opposed to subpoenaed yeah. uh, to, to, to say okay to it. When you're invited in New York State, that means that you're the target of the investigation. Otherwise, you get subpoenaed, you, you get immunity for your, your testimony. Mm -hmm. But uh, when, when it gets to that last stage where they say, you have a right to address this grand jury, that's been investigating you, it, almost no one says, yeah, I'd like to do that. Right. <laughs> Graham, what happens next? Well, so that's the, there's a lot to be seen. I, if I was able to tell you that, that would be breaking news right now. <laughs> but um, it's typically these two things, that, that the key witness uh, um, testifying before the grand jury and the target of the probe being invited, those are typically near the end of the grand jury process. Mm. So uh, right now, what we can expect is that at some point in the near future, there will be some sort of decision. Are we making a charge or are we not? Mm. Graham Cates, thank you very much, Graham. Thank you.